let's go ahead and give this third shape here a try. And so again, whenever you start a shape, it's important that you pick a spot on your paper that won't run off the page or run into another shape. So I'm going to go ahead and start from the left side, and I'm going to start towards the left side of my page. But I'm not going to start too close to another shape because I don't want to end up running into it. So I'm going to give myself plenty of room here. And so maybe this corner right here, this dot right here will be this corner. It goes down 1.5. And as we said in our last video, 1.5 is 6. We can say 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, 1.25, and 1 1.5. So that's 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cool. And then it goes down to the right or in the rightward direction, 1.25, which would be 5. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I always like to double check that I did it right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, cool. And then it goes up. What well, doesn't say how much it goes up? But we do know the entire height is 6, and this height over here is 3. And so this has to be 3 as well because math, 3 plus 3 is 6. So I know it goes up one, two, three. And then it doesn't say how far it goes back or how far it goes either direction here. So I'm going to stop there at this end. But I'm going to go backwards, so back into the right or in the back direction, six more. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then it goes down to the right or in the rightward direction, one, two, three more. And then I'm going to go ahead and go three from here as well because it's a rectangle and it's not going to stop being three wide here. And it's not going to stop being six deep in this direction just because we shifted slightly to the right. And then we know it goes down three. So one, two, three. And we know it goes down three. One, two, three. And then if you look, these two should connect by two. And we can figure out the math of that if we really wanted to. It's kind of obvious if you think about it. But... I can see that those clearly connect by 2. And so, okay, how do we get that? Well, if this is 3, then this is 3. And if this is 3 and this whole thing is 5, then 3 plus 2 is 5. So we know that works again because math. And then I can go ahead and connect these corners here, and there should be a distance of 6 if we did it right. And it says the entire thing goes 9. We've already gone 3 to the right, so we need to go 6 more to make it 9. So 1... Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then it says it goes forward one, which is four squares. And so, hold on, I'm sorry about that. One, two, three, four in the forward direction. And then it goes back some amount. Well, if it went to the right five over here and the entire thing is nine, well, then this has to be 4 because, again, math. So 1, let's try fixing my lead. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And if this is 4 and the entire depth is 6, then this would be 2 because 2 plus 4 is 6, again, because math. Now, this is 3 tall because it didn't stop being 3 tall, so those connect. This is 3 tall because, again, it didn't stop being 3 tall. These should connect by 4. And goes back four and those connect and that should be the entire shape it's very important that you get every single edge